Tara and I are about to hit a very big milestone together. Here's to another 75,000. I don't know if you guys are able to see very well or not, but look at the median covered, just covered in wildflowers. It's so beautiful. I just want to pull over and stare at it all day. But my friends, I am on an adventure into the woods and into a part of Florida that I have not explored yet. I am super excited and I cannot wait to bring you all along with me. In the meantime, I've got about two and a half hours left. I've got about two hours behind me. So I will check in with you all in a little bit. for the most part. Um, I'm really enjoying all the wildflowers, the horses, the cows. Um, it's knock on wood been a pretty pleasant drive so far. It did start storming on me a couple times but only for a little bit and it cooled the temperature off temporarily so I'll take that. Um, but anyways I wanted to just check in for a minute. Um, I was feeling really vulnerable all of a sudden and then I saw the city that I was driving through and it must have somehow seemed in my subconscious. Um, I think one of the reasons that I haven't explored much of North Florida is there's one particular person who um, I know is also into nature and wildlife photography that lives in this general area and I'm to be perfectly honest I really think that on some level I just don't ever want to risk the chance of running into them um, they're one of the few people that truly disturb me because I really feel that they're genuinely a dangerous person and I just want to personally completely distance myself from them and because of the fact that I'm really into nature and wildlife photography. Um, some of my mutual um, acquaintances and friends also know this person. So um, that's one of the reasons I kind of just like to stay solo. I just kind of don't want to put myself out there for any kind of drama or unpleasantness. So I'll just feel a little bit better when I'm further past this area, but I did realize that on some level, I think that's why I haven't been exploring North Florida very much, and I just kind of stick to my little Central Florida bubble, and why I want to do so much more exploration in South Florida, but... I realize that there are so many amazing places to explore um, up in the northern part of the state that I've really just been putting off for way too long. So, with that being said, I'm going to turn this around because I don't want to go down a negative road at all with you guys. I want this to be a happy vlog. And I am very excited, actually, to be going where I'm going. There are three things that I'm hoping to accomplish on this trip, or three things that I'm hoping to spot, and really, really trying not to set expectations for myself, but I'm really hoping to photograph too, and that is, one, there is a rare population of um, just in this particular area of white squirrels with like these little gray toupees that are so freaking adorable and I just always wanted to see them. Uh, yes, I did say squirrels and I realize that sounds crazy. Um, the second thing that I'm really, 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 really 
really hoping to see is um, a piebald doe. If you're not familiar with what that is, it is um, basically a, a white-tailed deer that has a genetic mutation, essentially, that causes them to be um, either mostly, partially, somewhat white and um, brown combined, kind of in a model type pattern sometimes. And this doe is just gorgeous. She's been known to frequent the area. Um, and apparently she's seen quite frequently by people there. So I'm really, really hoping that since I'm going to be camping there for a couple of nights that I'll have a chance to spot both of those things. Uh, one of the days that I'm here, I am going to be taking a sunrise morning trip uh, to St. Mark's Wildlife or National Wildlife Refuge, which has also been on my list forever. And I know it's not the ideal time of year. Um, the ideal time of year would be winter, but they have a well-renowned wild flamingo that apparently <laughs> drifted off course from somewhere south years ago. I think around 2017 might have been the first year it was spotted. Maybe before, I'm not 100% sure. Please don't hold me to that, but I think it was 2017. And so, even though I know my chances are a lot less this time of year, which would be early June, um, I know it's not totally 100% impossible. So, that is the third thing that I'm really hoping to see this trip. Um, so, I figure if anything, it's a great distraction from the kind of mental chaos that I've been dealing with lately. Um, I only have a few days left before I return to working full time at my remote office job. Um, although it's no longer 100% remote, I'm going to be working in the office for the first time again since before the you know what. Um, once, I, like every other week, I think, um, something like that. So I'm preparing myself for that because I know that's going to be really weird again, being in an office setting uh, with actual outside distractions instead of just the distractions in my head. Um, but I do think it'll be good for me to kind of get away. I'm going far enough away that I'm nowhere near my familiar territory that I'm used to without being out of state or too far away. Um, I think it'll be the perfect three-day trip. So I'm really looking forward to that. And now that I have blabbed enough, I will check in with you when I'm arriving at my destination. So I'll see you then. I'm also super excited to visit St. Mark's um, National Wildlife Refuge anyways, because I've been wanting to go there forever and it's beautiful. And even though it has um, some kind of similar ecosystem terrain as I'm used to hiking in. It's also very unique and different from what I'm used to as well. Um, and I think I'll see some different wildlife. Hopefully I'm way past spring migration, so I miss the boat there. But I'm still hopeful that I will see some beautiful landscapes. Well, I know I'll see beautiful landscapes and still some wildlife. So if a bobcat wants to show up, like I always say, I'm not going to be upset about that either. We'll see. We'll see what wants me to make a photograph of it or a video to share with you. I'm so glad to be through the part of the state that had all the traffic knock on wood. And it looks like also knock on wood. The bad weather may be behind me for the rest of the day, which would be nice. Um, we're still at almost 90 degrees Fahrenheit, so 
it's still quite toasty out um, and I'm sure quite muggy out since it's been raining, but I have my bug spray and my camera and I am hoping to still use it today. So I will see when we get to our camp. like the weather was behind us, by the way. <laughs> oh, Mother Nature sure has a sense of humor. Still blue skies ahead of me, but as you can see. All right, we just pulled into Aquacani State Park. I am so horrible with pronouncing some of these. I just don't want to butcher it, um, but I'll put it um, in the caption below so that if anybody could not understand that from how I pronounced it, you'll know how to look it up. And I'll also put the link for the state park in the video description. But right now, since it's already pretty late in the day, we are just going to check in and head to camp and then kind of get our bearings and go from there. Plus, I will probably plug dinner into the Hot Logic to start heating up and um, then explore and kind of figure out where everything is from there. But you know I'm loving these trees so far, guys. All right, I'll check back in with you once we're at our campsite. Okay, I lied. We're doing the scenic drive first to kind of get our bearings and see how everything is. And the ranger was nice enough to give me a few tips on where I might find the deer that I'm looking for. So, fingers and toes crossed. But in the meantime, enjoy the scenic drive. I think I'm gonna come back and do this before sunset, so I'm not gonna show you much of the drive right now unless I see anything really cool on it. There's also a pretty decent considering population of red cockaded woodpeckers here which would be a life bird for me so that would be the icing on the cake if I end up spotting one of those. I'm really liking this so far, but I forgot I wasn't going to show you too much yet, so see you in a minute. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but the ranger was explaining to me that they literally just did a burn this week, um, which on the plus side, it'll be easier to spot the deer that I'm trying to spot. Um, then the downside is the landscape may not be as pretty as it was before the burn, but since they are very necessary for the health of the scrub habitats, I fully understand why they do them. Um, but I just mentioned it because I didn't know if you saw that tree that was still smoking from the burn earlier this week. sounds like I have a pretty good shot at seeing the squirrels just right in camp even. Um, I was warned that they can be a little bold and sassy so I have to really keep my food and garbage in check, uh, which I always do anyways. I'm pretty sure that all of these trees that have the white trunk um, are either former or current nesting trees for the cockaded woodpeckers and I think this must be the reflecting pond that's about halfway around the trail she mentioned. So 
I'm going to scope this out since I definitely plan to come back later and spend a little more time in this spot. You all, I'm already like nine million times more relaxed than I have felt in a couple of weeks now. Um, I'm not going to get into it on my channel, but... It has been a very frustrating series of events for me lately that I've been having to deal with. So they're finally resolving. And on top of that, um, before I left today, I got some really, really, really good news that I've been hoping for. So I'm actually feeling really optimistic for the first time in quite a while about the direction that things are going so I am very um, happy to be here I'm happy to be relaxing I'm happy to be out in nature surrounded by woodpeckers and deer and looking for animals to photograph. This is definitely my happy place surrounded by trees and it's so beautiful in here. So um, I'm just really happy to spend the next couple of days with you guys and showing you around this awesome park and this beautiful area. The ranger was so nice. She gave me quite a few tips on where I might um, locate what I'm hoping to see. So I think I already said that, but if not, I love the people that work at the Florida State Park Systems. They are always so helpful and so nice. All right, so the plan for dinner is to heat up some Spanish-style rice, some black beans, and my leftover roast pork in my Hot Logic Mini. So I'm getting a late start, but that should be pretty tasty here in a little bit. All right, status update. I have my concoction heating. I pulled out an icy cold Gatorade. I'm looking through my pictures, which, oh my gosh, wait till you see what I saw today. I did not find the white squirrel and I did not find the flamingo, but I did check one thing off of my mission checklist. So, with that being said, I'm going to finish getting set up here while my food heats. Watch the last little bit of the sinking sun. And I will probably check in with you guys later. Okay, so I've got my fan going, and I'm actually quite comfortable right now. It says it's 90 in here, but because I'm in the direct fan um, path, I guess that's the word I'm looking for. Oh gosh, it's been a long day. I'm quite comfortable, and we've got dinner heated. I had to go with a spoon because I don't know what the heck I did with my fork at the moment but it is my pork with my Spanish rice and black beans. It is delicious. So I am going to shut up and start eating and see you later. Good morning, my friends. After I ate dinner last night, I 
watched a little bit of my newest favorite YouTube channel, Mr. Ballin. Why? I don't know, since it's all about the strange, dark, and mysterious, and I was sleeping alone in the woods, but I'm obsessed right now. He's such a good storyteller. Um, so anyways, I just watched a couple of those and went straight to sleep. And as you can see, the sun is not up yet. We are heading over to St. Mark's Wildlife National Wildlife Refuge to do a little exploring and a little hiking this morning. I did not even make my coffee yet. I just got up, got dressed, and hit the road. So hopefully we will get to see a beautiful sunrise and if I'm really really lucky hopefully a flamingo and then after the morning it's supposed to rain uh, it looks like a good chunk of the day until evening so we'll probably just come back to camp relax hang out hopefully find some of the white squirrels here and then um, we'll explore and I'll show you around the park I haven't even seen the restrooms. In 600 feet, turn right onto US 319 North Big Bend Scenic Byway Coastal Trail. I was so wrapped up in um, looking for wildlife last night. I didn't pull into camp until right before sunset. Take so. the next right onto US 319 North Big Bend Scenic Byway Coastal Trail. So I will definitely show you much more of the park. Um, when we get back later because it is beautiful here and I haven't even had a chance to really explore it yet. Um, but anyways, check in with you when we get somewhere. By the way, I'm such a dork. I spotted, which I will have already inserted the pictures and any footage already, but I spotted a red cockaded woodpecker when I was going through the scenic drive and I instantly became an obsessed woman. So I just did the scenic drive like five times because there were no other cars. So I just kept going around and around and looking for woodpeckers. And there are a ton. I saw red-headed woodpeckers, the two red cockaded woodpeckers, but I only got one crappy photo of one of them. So my mission later is to hopefully get a good picture of one because that would just be amazing. Um, so anyways, that's the only exploration I did last night. I just went around the scenic drive a bunch of times. So I'm definitely got to explore the rest of the park um, today and tomorrow. But I think my plan is to just stay there tomorrow, just wake up, enjoy sunrise there, and just kind of hike around and hopefully see that gorgeous creature again because, oh my God, she's beautiful. And she is definitely pregnant, so um, there might be another little piebald baby running around soon. I ran into a really nice couple when I was watching the doe, and they said that they had seen a smaller one that was like almost all white um, in another area the day before, so that would be really cool if I saw another one, but... I'm just so thrilled that I saw her. She is absolutely gorgeous. So, um, anyways, I, that was my other rambling. This is going to be kind of a weird vlog. It's mainly going to be me showing you beautiful stuff and apparently talking your ear off about everything under the sun. <laughs> so, I'll see you when we get to St. Mark's.